Harry John getting ready to start. You can see this little shelter here. It's where I ended up before. And I'll be heading down that road. And in 12 miles, I'll be done for the day. Well, I'm a little over three miles in. And it was pretty easy. Uh, went up a little bit on a logging road. And uh, I followed the logging road, of course, a little too far, as usual. But it, don't worry if you do that, it loops around. The trail actually shortcuts over the mountain. And then you go down and up a little. And that's about three miles flat until you get to here. And it looks like we're heading up a little. Okay, right before four miles, coming up from that way, steep hill. Takes your breath away. I'd say a good uh, third to half mile of climbing. Now we're back on the top. Uh, looks like somebody built a little rock bench up here. Uh, top of the mountain. You can see the maple trees are just starting to blossom. A nice spring day on Good Friday 2015. They just came down that huge pile of rocks. And I'm sure you can't even get the idea how steep that is. There was some sitting down involved getting down safely. Well, at almost six miles. Here's another little site. This one doesn't look quite as rocky. Um, and there's some rocks here. But no water again. I am heading down the trail that way. About six and a half miles down, uh, the trail starts to follow the first real stream I've seen along this section that you could get water. And looks like it's going to go alongside for a ways. Just about seven miles down, you can see there's a couple of campsites and a bridge in between them. This would probably be a lot nicer place to camp if you wanted to have access to some water. About five miles left to go for the day. Here we are at Poe Patty Tunnel where the train used to go through and now I'm gonna go through. Boy, this is like solid rock. And uh, pretty cool. I have a feeling we're not gonna get much video inside. Just a big culvert pipe, and it echoes. Uh, I have a feeling you would need a lot of light in here in the night time to make it through. I don't even know if any of this is going to show up. There's the other end. Well, whatever that showed up, we'll have on video. Here's the walkway over the creek, right after the tunnel. The tunnel's back there. So we're going to go on across. Uh, well, you can see the water is going pretty good today. I had to do a little detour at Cherry Run Flats. The bridge was out and the water was too high. so. 
it ended up being 12.7 instead of 11.8. Okay. Starting out second day, going south from Poe Patty. Went up the road and just started coming up this trail. And we're going up the hill. And I'm already hot enough to take off my flannel shirt. This has been a lot of the way from Harry John down. So thick with multiflora and brush that it's really hard to use your trekking poles at all. So, definite clearing would help on this part. Here's the first creek after Poe Patty going south, and there's a little bridge going across. Uh, it's like a little fire ring and a place you could camp near water. Uh, pretty nice day on uh, April 14th, ni or 19, yeah, 2017. Boy, it's the first day of trout season. So there's a ton of people out on Oh, Paddy Valley Lake. Okay, since the trail wasn't too well marked after I crossed the bridge, I ended up coming out to the road and walking down to Poe Valley Park. And I'm going to be taking Hunter's Path straight up the mountain to reconnect to Mid State Trail. I made it back to the Mid State Trail. And I should have been coming in from there, but I had to take Hunter's Path up. And I'm pretty sure the direction I headed after uh, the creek the first time was the right way. And by the time I readjusted, I already added an extra mile. So it's about eight miles down the trail. Uh, just a mile or so south of Poe Valley State Park and well there's this big open area that must have had a huge blow down at one time just big big trees that uh, came down everywhere but it looks like it's been a couple years because they've got most of them cut well, my goal had been to get 12 miles done and then see if I could do another 8. However, I've gotten a pretty bad blister on my right foot at about 9 miles and it's going to be a struggle just to finish the last 3. So the extra 8's out today. I'll have to do it some other time.